welcome to Black and Gold Today. I'm Rachel Whitaker. The Saints kept on the pads at Monday's training camp practice, and that's always better to judge linemen that way. So, joining me from NOLA.com's West Virginia Bureau is Saints beat writer Evan Woodbury. Hello, Evan. Hey, Rachel. It's, uh, it's beautiful here again in West Virginia. We had one day of drenching rain where I think all of us were uh, shivering and, and wet, but now right. it's back. The beautiful weather so we're happy again <laughs> definitely as long as the rain can hold off for the saints to get their practice in now uh on the offensive line uh we're watching of course goodwin and lolito at center but uh also the saints run game is getting some tests with pass protection that Kyrie robinson did well in today tell us uh, tell us about that a little bit yeah, it's interesting because it's, it's tough to see a lot of the running backs as far as when they're they're running the ball because they're not being tackled to the ground and you can't make a lot of judgments. But what you can make some judgments on is pass protection. And there was one play where, uh, you know, Kyrie Robinson was just, was just really took a, a nice hit but picked up a block for some safety blitzes. And he did that more than once. And that's kind of the thing that, that can stand out, especially in these early days of practice. Like I said, you can judge the running backs, you can judge the receivers to a certain extent, you can judge the defensive backs to a certain extent, but it's tough to really judge the running backs on a pass protection, that pass pickup. That's one where, area where you can see some, some good things, and, and Kyrie Robinson definitely distinguished himself today. Right, and also uh, on that offensive line, uh, Pro Bowl guard Ben Grubbs watched practice in shorts on Monday, so second-year man Senio Kelamete was in with the ones. Uh, Evan, any big concern about Grubbs, or is this just veteran rest for him, maybe? I think it's probably a little bit of both. During the OTAs, he did take some days off where he, uh, you know, just got some drills and just kind of watched from the sidelines. And he did that yesterday, and that's why we were looking at it just in terms of a veteran rest day. Uh, but then again, today, one day, uh, he was in shorts and didn't participate in anything. So I think there is some injury here, but I think it's minor enough that it's probably not that big of a concern. See Kelamete come in there with the, with the first teams with, with grubs out. He is at least kind of a bubble player for making one of those last spots on the offensive line roster or perhaps being a practice squad guy. Uh, Marcel Jones is another guy that was traditionally a tackle that's now a they're getting some cross training in at guard. He's another guy whose versatility could help him grab one of those last spots on the line. Uh, but with the exception of good in the little line, battles are going to be at the bottom of the line. Some of those younger guys, news for Kelamete that when Grubbs went down with the injury, he was the guy that filled in with the first team. Right, that second year man in Kelamete coming in uh, to take some snaps with the ones in Grubbs' absence out there today at, at Saints camp. But uh, Evan, a lot more to talk about in the coming days. Thanks so much. Thank you. And please join us Tuesday for the return of the Saints Trivia Challenge and much more. See you then.